Hey everybody, I hold in my hands one of the weirder Arduino type boards that I've seen in a while. This is the 2020 Geek Duck board and uh, I figured I'll take it out of the box and look around at its quirks and features and then I'll take it for a little test drive and maybe give it a Dan score. Uh, so let's pop this bad boy open. This was kindly sent to me by the people at uh, RGB Duino. They gave me the choice of this one or there's also one with a bikini girl should uh, You be interested in having that on your Duino. Maybe I'll put that up there um, But this is the board. This is the original packaging uh, a few people got some early editions that were damaged in shipping We'll see if that happened to me Okay, we've got a little thing here uh, All right, so here's the board and although on the surface it looks nothing like a regular uh, Arduino, it does hold the same form factor, so it looks like it'll take the shields and other things for your traditional Uno. Uh, we've got a micro USB instead of the standard type A connector, I believe, or type B connector that's on a lot of the uh, standard Arduino Uno clones. Uh, coming over here, I see a buzzer. And we have two, let's look at this up here, we have a buzzer here and two RGB LEDs as well as your standard digital and analog, uh, yeah, analog and uh, digital and analog pins. And uh, got a lot going on down here. I don't know if that's power, if those are LEDs or not. Um, they're not labeled as LEDs. Uh, coming around the side, you've got a push button very nice tactile push button and you've got a reset button and then here you've got a switch I'm not exactly sure what that does now one of the interesting things about this board uh, I may have mentioned it earlier but it, it comes in this duck this geek duck version and a bikini version um, <laughs> one thing I never noticed but you flip this board over and <laughs> it shows the butt of the duck and what's it say uh, of the maker by the maker for the beta maker with uh, RGB Duino on the ducks butt. and this uno belongs to and you can write your own name there so um, that's pretty funny. A little soldering iron unplugged over here. So, uh, these, I, I watched a little bit of the production of this and, um, I know there were two girls that were doing some videos on them and they seemed like they were just kind of having some fun with this. And I, I like the idea of them coming out and making something that's different, making something that, uh, kind of makes fun of itself. And so, I think that's cool. I wanted to support it and I appreciate that they sent me this development board. Uh, look at the box. It has a very short USB cable and which I think actually was part of the deal. I think that this USB cable is coming around knocking off uh, this chip occasionally in shipping and so mine seems to have held firm. So this is Dan two months after I recorded that original footage and I wanted to drop in and tell you guys a few things. The first thing is, since I got this board, the people at RGB Duino have agreed to sponsor a giveaway. And we're gonna be giving away at least one of these boards. And all you need to do is you need to comment about why you'd like to have the board down in either the comments here or in the social media post where you see this video. And just in talking to these people, they are so nice and they really want to get this kind of stuff in the hands of people because they, like me, believe that coding is power. And so I super appreciate them being willing to do a giveaway and we'll give some more details in the description of the video. There were two other things that were actually pointed out to me by YouTuber Simple Electronics, who is awesome. And if you're not subscribed to him, then I don't know what you're waiting for. Uh, leave a comment about how you want this board and run over there and subscribe to Simple Electronics. But uh, two things that I did not point out in my initial uh, review of this board is that in addition to some instructions on the box, the box actually serves as a case. Let's get it in here this way. So you can get to the USB port and that little switch in here, which I think is kind of fun. I think that's really kind of a fun uh, way to not let this packaging go to waste and at least allow you to plug something in uh, while the thing is in the box. And I think that's pretty fun. The other thing that I just, uh, I was half asleep when I recorded this, I did not notice, was that the bottom of this board is smooth. They built the entire thing with SMD components. And so, um, 
for kids that's better you know you're not going to get cut on anything the odds of getting shocked aren't too high on something like this but it's really nice to have this uh this smooth well done finish as opposed to the way that the arduino boards are normally uh created and so i think that's very very cool and so kudos to them for going the extra step for making the board with that kind of quality i will mention it later in the video but the one thing that i think is very cool is that all these digital pins here have little leds and those little leds um just don't really get in the way of your sketches but they act like status lights so for makers and tinkerers this is actually a really practical board to see when you are outputting on your uh digital output so yeah comment below about why you'd want this board and what you do with it and all that kind of stuff and i'm going to spend a little bit of time talking about the software so here's the board. As I expected, these LEDs do light up um, when you put uh, any kind of digital right to these pins, which is kind of cool. I could see some cool uses for that. And I fired up the different examples. And uh, to be honest, the examples were were not commented super well. And in fact, like when you loaded an example, you weren't even 100% sure what it was supposed to do. A lot of times they were all just doing little things with these LEDs over here. So it wasn't super obvious. Um, but that gets into a bigger discussion. You know, C is not my strongest language. And, uh, but when you talk about things like contributing to open source software, I think it's pretty cool because I was able to go into their repository and go on their Facebook page and make some edits to the different, uh, example sketches they had. I didn't really love the way they had it laid out or anything like that. Um, I felt like they could use some more examples. So, I mean, I'm not a rocket scientist when it comes to C, but I was able to create some new examples and add some comments and things like that. And, uh, and you know what? Even if you're not a, an expert in open source software or an expert in a particular language doesn't mean that you don't have something to contribute. And so, uh, I'm going to share my code with my, in my GitHub repo. And so if you have this board or considering this board, you can take a look at some of the example sketches, but, uh, I have awful, I have also offered them back to the RGB Duino people like, Hey, this is my take as a native English speaker, how I would do these examples and, uh, how I would lay out the repository and things like that. So, um, yeah, the last one I did just kind of playing with it is this one that turns this LED on half brightness and this one on full brightness. I've used a couple of the NeoPixel examples, um, to, uh, in, in my sketch eight. And then this is one I wrote myself. But one thing to note is that when you're using a lot of the examples for NeoPixels or these little 50-50 addressable LEDs, um, these are not set up as a strip. So this one is on pin 12 and this one is on pin 13. And so a lot of the built-in effects that you would get from the uh, NeoPixel library, like telling it that you have two pixels and rainbowing between them and chasing and all that kind of stuff, they're not going to work with this because each one of these is essentially treated like it's its own LED strip. So um, as far as this board goes, the, the silk screening feels really good. Like, I mean, absolutely top notch. It's super smooth. Um, the board itself feels like it's of a really good quality. I like these features of the little LEDs over here. I like having the little RGB LEDs. I like the fact that they included a button. Um, I probably won't use the buzzer a lot. So I like the fact that you can turn that off. And in fact, uh, the buzzer is connected to pin eight. So they recommend that if you're doing anything else with pin eight to go ahead and turn this, this switch off. But, uh, overall, I like the board and, um, you know, I'm glad I've I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I reviewed it. I'm glad I was able to contribute a little bit. And uh, so can't really think of anything bad to say about the board. I like it. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.